Hello, this is Mr. Buffington. Welcome to another week of math class. I thought I'd put together a quick video to show you a little bit about how math can relate to your everyday life. So, here's our first math video of the year. I was looking on the internet, I found that a Wii gaming system costs about $250. If it's $250 for a Wii gaming system, I thought to myself, how does that relate to math? And then I thought, ah yes, my high school students are probably starting to look into getting credit cards, maybe. And if you do, credit cards have a certain percentage of interest that they charge. It's about 20%. Um, some are less, some are more, but about 20%. So what I decided to do was to put together a little um, exercise to see how much exactly it would cost um, on a credit card to buy my Wii gaming system. So if I, you know, I'm all into we or whatever, <laughs> okay, so I put together this thing, I used the equation that's up here for interest, um, and I did a little bit of complex math where I'm sub subtracting the amount from it before I take out the interest, so this is pretty accurate. If I were to pay $5 per month for my Wii gaming system, it'll take me about nine years to pay it off, and the total I'll end up giving them in the long run is about $525.35. Give or take a little bit. Um, if I decided to make a $7.50 payment, $7.50, that was my payment every month, I would end up paying $360.28 over about four and a half years. All right. <laughs> I don't know if many of you have a Wii system that has lasted four years, but Anyway, so that's how long it would take if you were paying $7.50 a month. If you decided to pay $10 a month, you'd end up paying uh, $319.86 for your system. And that's not include shipping or taxes, by the way. Um, that's just what you'd end up paying over the course of about almost three years. And if you went ahead and made the full payment of $250 right up front, let's say you save up your money until you get it, and then you give them $250, then it'll cost you $250 for that gaming system. So that's the math that I did this week. I tried to make it relate a little bit more to you, and I hope this has been helpful, and I hope it has, I don't know, maybe made you think about stuff. So have a wonderful week, and I will see you next time.